I got to say it's a very bittersweet day for me. I mean, we're here to celebrate Kathy uh, as she embarks on a very well-deserved retirement. And I met Ron for the first time today, which was a real treat. And, uh, but we're also here to celebrate her lifetime of effort and accomplishments on behalf of the DMLA family. Is that better? Thank you, Danita. So for those that don't know, Kathy first became involved in the industry when she co-founded a small stock agency, Photo Network, here in Southern California. She joined PACA, as it was known then, back in 1979, and right away she got involved in the program committee. Then she became the chairman of the program committee. Then she worked for years on both the annual and international conferences when, when we had those. Then she became vice president. And it was at that time when she worked with Sonia to get us out of a very big mess where we were unfortunately subject of embezzlement by a former executive director to the tune of $200,000. Yeah, for, and for an association like this, that is, yeah, that is, that is close to death. Anyways, they worked to re repair the damage in terms of at least putting in uh, things in the bylaw that made that type of thing impossible in the future and put in some checks and balances on the board uh, that are so critical and exist today. Uh, but I guess you see where this is all going with Kathy. Uh, she then became president, and under those trying conditions, uh, she ran the association from the Photo Network's office without an executive director at a time when we had 150 members. So a lot of work and not much help. As if that weren't enough, Kathy. <laughs> Since 2005, you've been our executive director. And there are too many highlights in, in that time to, to tell everyone all about them here, but here are a few. I mean, you worked with the executive director of ASPP to create the Coalition of Associations. Initially, that was to work for, for the passage of the Orphan work, Works Bill. But that was the first time that sort of this creator associations that had been, had been formed and, you know, to, for a common cause. And of course, that group still meets weekly at this point and, you know, continues to work together on issues facing the industry and most recently the CASE Act. So uh, then you work to pull the association out of debt and rebuild the international meeting after the huge drop in ten attendance after 9-11. For those of you who were there in New York that year, you know it was a shadow of, of, the, of the former uh, uh, group gatherings. And, uh, you know, it took serious work to get us back to a point where we're now enjoying, you know, some, some reliable uh, profitability from the association. Um, you've been an active supporter of copyright protection and you've spoken at CPIC, ASPP, uh, the Western Association of Attorney Generals, which I'm sure was a fun experience for you, <coughs> and colleges all over, all, all over the years. You've been on the PLUS board representing picture libraries for the last six plus years. And you've worked with ICOMP, uh, the Initiative for Competitive Online Marketplace in the EU, and attended meetings there. And obviously you've worked very closely with CPIC over the years and made a, a, a big difference for us on that, on that score. You've accomplished all that, always with style, grace, and humor, and with a focus on making our community better. You know, thank you for everything. I can't tell you, for me, what a personal pleasure it has been to work with you over these years. And, uh, you know, with that, there are a number of people here who really want to say a few words to you. But before I open the, the mic and invite people up, there's something we'd like to give you to remember us by. We've only presented two Lifetime Achievement Awards in the history of the association. Now there's a third. I I'm crying. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I would like to ask Sonia Wasco, who's ahead of me on this, to come up here and present that to you. So Kathy, please come up. Okay, thanks. 
Kathy, I'm not really sure exactly when we first met and became friends, but who would have ever guessed when I sat next to you at an annual meeting dinner at Picture Arts Photo Agency in the early 90s that you and I would go on to become such good friends. By working together for so many years on PACA committees, becoming PACA officers together, traveling countries together, attending nearly 100 conferences together, can you believe that? Uh, becoming part of the driving force behind uh, saving PACA in 2001, and to be business partners. As a matter of fact, we've done so many things together that I've been mistakenly called Kathy many times, and she, Sonia. As a matter of fact, we even dress alike. <laughs> Yesterday, we both wore polka dots, and it was not planned. <clears throat> it is scary. <laughs> We both pulled out Tic Tacs at the same time at lunch, too, so that's even more, yeah, yeah, same, same flavor. We really, although we really couldn't be more different, we're different, we're from different sides of the country, we have way different political views. <laughs> um, I'm from the country, you're from the city. I love pigs and cows, you love musicals and theater. <laughs> I shoot guns, you never did, until Russ Kinney and my husband trained her. Um, yeah, she did. Uh, and I might mention that it was with very safe practices as well. But somehow those differences never prevented us from building such a great friendship. <clears throat> we even put our differences aside to become PACA slash DMLA roommates. We've laughed together and cried together with happy tears and sad tears. We've been through weddings. We've been through too many funerals and way too many birthdays too. But by far my fondest memory of you is your dedication to PACA and DMLA and your sincere caring for all of those who are lucky enough to be your friend. You're the first person to call somebody when they have a time of need to write a note, send flowers or gifts. Um, and you keep us all informed of people in need as well. In 2000 and 2001, almost 20 years ago, you were a part, when PACA was facing the possible downfall of its existence, you were among a small group of people who came together and gave hours and hours of your personal time to investigate and identify the problems, and even more time and personal expenses to ensure that the behavior that led to those problems would never happen again. And boy, could we tell stories about what we found. Thinking back over the years, though, there are a few, minutes that's, a few moments that stand out above the rest. Like, how creative your mind is, like starting bullseye images. Roaming the streets of Florence, pretending to be mannequins outside of the windows. <laughs> Way too many martinis in Soho. <clears throat> the presidential suite at the Astor Crown Plaza in New Orleans, where to get PACA to come to their hotel, they threw in the presidential suite for Kathy, which was like a boudoir, decorated in leopard prints and zebras and red velvet. And Ron even got to come and enjoy that one too. <laughs> and speaking of New Orleans, what about the Mardi Gras parade that we had? It was wonderful. And you worked on putting together some of the best PACA meetings that we've ever had. How about whispering most of the night in Minnesota <clears throat> when um, I served as president and you were vice president and we first became aware of some of the fraudulent activities that we were suspicious of. We whispered all night long in the bedroom how we were concerned about the things that we were finding. Or pillow talks with our friends in our room until god-awful hours of the morning like this morning. <laughs> 
um, how proud you were, are, of your grandchildren, when your grandchildren were born, and holy cow, now they're driving, or learning. <clears throat> but most of all, the amazing strength of your love and marriage to Ron. I know the decision to retire has been a difficult one for you because you love your job, these people, and this industry's been your life. Now that you've taken the step to make this official, you can start doing all those wonderful things I've heard you talking about over the years. You're a true friend. Our years of working together have showed me that you can love your work if you love the people that you work with. Thank you for proving that to us. I wish you an amazing retirement with years of enjoyment to come. Here's to wishing you health, wealth, and happiness, and cheers to you. Well, this certainly is a wonderful celebration of a wonderful person. Kathy, even above her unrelenting commitment to the licensing industry, is a loyal friend. A friend to the members of PACA and then DMLA, or both on a personal and professional level. She has been the fulcrum upon which desperate opinions, business models, and quirky individual personalities have been balanced to the end of a very successful industry organization. She has been a peacekeeper, a guardian of the, best, of the past, and a leader forward into the rapidly changing aspects of our industry. <clears throat> always remaining loyal to all interests, favoring none above others. Thus, I'm suggesting that now, retired from DMLA, she should run for president of the United States. <laughs> I first met Kathy at a lunch in Century City sometime when? 1978. She was operating a stock photo agency and seeking to establish best practices, not so much for her personal success, but to honor her responsibilities. She instantly felt like a friend, a friend that has been consistent in offering great information and advice to me ever since. Best of all, it was a rare conversation that wasn't sprinkled with laughter elicited by Kathy's great sense of humor. I admit to being at a loss for words as I attempted to write this tribute, so I turned to Google. Unfortunately, searching on inspiration for writing a tribute resulted in advice on speaking at funerals. <laughs> but this isn't the end for Kathy, but simply the beginning of a new chapter in her life. I'm certain she will be successful even if she decides not to seek a political path. Goodbye, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. <laughs> We have a little treat in store, Kathy. We've uh, got, had some champagne brought in so that we can share a little can toast with you. Toast? Yeah, of course you can. And our legal counsel has insisted that it's in, that it's in, that it's in the bylaws that she does the toast. Yeah. I don't think I've ever read that part, but then... It's in the small print. It's in the small print. But in the meantime, Kathy, we have a little something for you. It's a little bit of a treat. You can open it because we're all. We're all I yeah, I think yeah, you'd be very it. interested to open it. Well, there's never enough, Kathy. You can always, there's never enough presents or champagne. And this one you can't return. There's, there's no receipt with it. It's, oh, is this all the pictures? Yeah. Do you want to hold it up so everyone else can see what you're doing? So there's an album that we've presented to Kathy that has testimonials from many of us and, uh, and, and a record of, of all the uh, thoughts people have for her that she can... That's right. There's many people that aren't here. More tissues. <laughs> They're here in spirit, Kathy. And uh, um, we must make sure that the 
lady of honor up here gets gets some champagne. And her counsel. And her counsel. That's right. Legal counsel <laughs> insists. And counsel. That's right. <laughs> You're the official taster now, are you? I didn't write anything down because I knew I would get up here and not be able to read it anyway. But I wanted to give a toast to Kathy. And in my family, all special occasions are always celebrated with champagne. My mom always said, you know, Thanksgiving, champagne for the cooks in the kitchen. And with her Swedish background, it was always skull. But to everyone, there's many ways to wish you the very, very best. And I, I feel like I grew up with PACA and DMLA with you. And I've had such amazing mentors here. I mean, look at you and um, the late Jane Kinney and Ellen who terrified me when I first met her and Sonia and everyone else here. But there have been so many amazing role models and it's been such an honor to work with you. You're such an amazing leader and you do everything with such grace and, and you get it done. And it just, you, we will definitely miss you and I won't let you get too far away though. You're still on my speed dial. Uh, <laughs> We have many, many calls and many adventures, and you had the good fortune of having many birthdays in June during wonderful CPIC adventures, which were always at a different country, and I think one of the most amazing ones was Portugal, where we take a secret bus to an unknown location, which is like this palace that's a little run down, but beautiful candles, and it's all tile, and you, your, a birthday cake came out for you. So we've had many many great celebrations, but I don't want to keep everyone from having their toast. So we just want to say that we all love you, admire you, and wish you the best. Skull. Here. Laheim. Laheim. If I can do this without crying. This is really bittersweet because I hope all of you know how important this job and in this industry has meant to me for how many years was that? Quite a few. Quite a few. 40. I, I have said personally to so many of you that I could have gone in a lot of directions in my life. Um, fate took me into photography. Um, the people I've met, all of you out there that I've known, some of you for a short period of time, a lot of you for so many years, I don't want to count them, but um, have enriched my life in so many ways. If I can impart anything to you, get involved because being involved, you really get more out than you put in. Um, I've met people all over the world who I call friends. And I don't know that any other job would have given me that opportunity. And I will always think of all of you as I go forward into retirement. I don't know what that is gonna be like. I've never tried it before, but you know, I'll let you know. Um, but at some point, it's time to move on and bring in new blood and new ideas. DMLA, PACA, started out in 1951, and it's seen a lot of people be involved, and I know that new people will come in and make this organization strong and stronger than it's ever been. Try to be one of those people, volunteer for a committee or to be on the board. I want to thank every board that I've worked with, all the presidents I've worked with, all the committee chairs and board treasurers, secretaries, everyone that I have, vice presidents, um, that I've worked with along the way. You've enriched my life in a way that you'll never know. And I thank you so much for this today. It's hard for me to take. It's much easier for me to give. Um, but this is really a, a special, special day. And I thank you for the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity to serve this, this association. And um, again, thank you very, very much.